Chris, the Stockton Thunder, they open up their 10th season at home. They're already 1-1 one one on the season, so that made for some excited fans at the game. But it didn't start out great for the Thunder. Yet again, the Condor strike first. This one is Graham Craig, whose shot goes off of James Henry's glove up front, and then they follow that right back up. Francis Barreau Paul, he puts him up 2-0. Yeah, it's a situation, first 20 minutes, you're tight in front of the home crowd. Things are not together. But the second 20 minutes, everything came positive for the Thunder. And here's a positive right here. Here's one check to another, Sivak to Sudek, and Sudek able to put that one behind Rimmer. That's his second goal in as many nights. Go hard to the net. That's what coaches say all the time. And Sudek, he would get some energy for his squad. But how about this one? Captain Garrett Hunt, he has already, already, already on the season. He hadn't gotten any penalty minutes. He ended up finishing this game with 19. He's now one of the tops in the league right now, and he got it all in one game. Yeah, he's a veteran. He can feel that presence on the bench. I love here how he teaches the, uh, the young defenseman a little thing about respect. He's uh, three inches shorter, 30 pounds lighter. He's here going toe to toe, telling the refs, hey, I'm tapping him. He won't let up. I keep tapping his back, saying enough. And as the ref and the linesman come in, watch how Garrett Hunt, the captain, finishes this fight off. He gets in two or three extra shots to let the young guy know, next time I tap you, let go. Yeah, and I don't think he liked what Gabriel Verpass did in the corner. And certainly, the Condors aren't going to like this one. Tyler Maxwell, his first goal in a Thunder uniform, that put them up by one. It was 3-2 at this point. Maxwell, a beautiful goal there. Yeah, beautiful. And then the finisher from Sivak at the end from his countrymen. That seals off a 4-2 win. Speed kills, quickness kills. The Thunder have a lot of it in their 10th anniversary season. And I think the fans here just excited. Peter Sivak scoring goals for the Thunder this season instead of putting them behind. Let's hear what the players have to say. Do it again. Yeah, I think uh, Playing the old rope dope like all these said, you know, you just let them waste all their energy and then we'll take it over in the second two periods. So is this a game plan you use on everybody or you no. take a lead here? No, I think, I, I think we'll try to get a lead here sooner or later, but for now it's working, so uh, can't uh, can't be mad with the success. Can you go over your, your goal for us? Yeah. I don't know if you just did, but... Uh, yeah, boots, boots, simple shot from the point. I ended up just batting it down with my stick, and I think the goalie thought it was going to come through, and I ended up just getting a nice tap in in the crease. So. Your guys' group tonight had a great game. You just played with five, no Seabrook tonight. How would you guys maintain that? I mean, uh, we're just trying to keep it simple, uh, do, do the simple things, and uh, work together as a, as a decor, as a unit, and uh, moving the puck fast to the forwards and let them do the rest. Something I noticed personally was you guys were doing a great job of – Preventing them from passing the puck across the ice in, the, in, the, in your D zone. How does that help you guys prevent scoring chances and things like that? I mean, that's what you need in the D zone. Uh, prevent them to move the puck fast and uh, cut the passing lanes, especially across uh, across the D zone. So we're just trying to maintain uh, pressure on them and uh, play physical in our D zone. You guys what do you guys up? think when? What do you guys think when they when they got up by two goals uh, again? I mean, it was had a yeah. Game here. It was it was early in the game, and we all had uh, confidence in, in, uh, in our, our team that we were uh, able to bounce back, and uh, which we did. And uh, we have uh, uh, we seem to have uh, a character in that uh, locker room, and uh, we're pretty pumped about that. I think it's I mean, limiting scoring chances is very important, and I mean, the quality ones are the ones you're concerned about. We can give up the shots from the outside; our goaltenders will handle that. It's it's the ones in the slot, the uh, two on ones, uh, the odd man breaks are the ones that are difficult to to defend against for a goaltender. So we we have to focus on making sure we limit their quality scoring chances more than anything else. The shots are what they are. There's a lot of teams like Ontario that just throw pucks to the net from wherever, but you know, if we're, our structure is good, we can handle that.